Well, hey everyone, another quick update. It changed, the GPS changed to give us, to, um, to avoid Collingwood now because it's, there's construction or something. And now this other way, it's more the back way, which I prefer, is now two minutes quicker. So, I've never been this way before. You guys, you can see off into the distance. So, we definitely were in a big valley is what I said before. Eh? You have to look at the maps for this area, topographical. But we're about to head up that great big hill ahead, you can see. So... Definitely has warmed up. Everybody in a hurry. It's up to 24 Celsius now. Um, I did gas up $1.59 a liter. 50 bucks, put it just over a half tank. Um, then five minutes past where I was, like where I gassed up. It was a buck fifty-five in the villa in the town of uh, Stainer, Ontario. So this is where Cremo that sign Cremor Brewery, Cremor Beer, is here, just five kilometers up the road. Huh? Should go there for a tour. And I, I'm not a beer drinker, but I know people think pretty highly of the Cremor. So anyway, Ontario beer. Hopefully not owned by Americans. Sorry to Americans out there, but I'm an unhappy Canadian that we have Americans that own our beer companies. We always thought your beer was pony piss because it was weaker than ours and everything and it was owned by Canadian companies, all the rest of it, and now it's all gone. Now, I haven't heard beer drinkers complain that you guys came in and made it all like Budweiser or Miller Blech. but all those brands are here now so everybody drinks their own brand but back when I was a young lad it was it was Canadian products oh oh the cow shit oh the cow shit manure spreading time I guess today eh? August corn boy oof corn looks pretty healthy in these parts It's definitely more greener than that area back there that I was saying it didn't look as green, but now we're back into this, so they must have been getting the rain here. Because it's definitely more lush here again. So we're going to miss all the uh, along the uh, coastline there, unfortunately. So, but. I'm happy I'm skipping Collingwood because it's not a huge town, but lots of lights, lots of traffic. Even it's not even though it's not traffic hour. And the, it's funny because if you looked at the map and then looked at it from both ways, it looks like there must be a huge difference in kilometers. It's not. It's like two kilometers difference. And you avoid the entire town of Collingwood and Meaford. Now we catch the end of Owen Sound on the other side, which I've never been on. I've never gone, or I've never come from this direction, from this road to that, you know, to the exit that goes like to, you know, they had to do the last straight run out to uh, Sable Beach. So now I could change it and put it down to Oliphant. Because the campground is actually in North Sobel, which is quite a bit north. Well, it's a good 13 kilometers north of uh, Sobel Beach. But I want to, you know, I want to come into town, Sobel Beach, and see, uh, you know, we get to see the, as we're coming in, we'll get a view of the lake, lake and everything. So, should be, I mean, it won't be busy like a weekend, but should be lots of people about, so. Since we're going in that way, I will stop at the grocery store and pick up uh, some bread and some hamburger buns, so.
I wasn't going to, but then I thought, you know what? That sandwich isn't going to be enough for the rest of the day because, I mean, it's only 3 o'clock. I'm going to end up at the campground at about 4.30, 5. I get everything set up, 6, 7. That's still early, you know. So we'll see how tired I am, but I may end up staying quite late. Or I might fall asleep early. I don't know yet. I'm in no hurry now. I mean, I wasn't in a hurry to begin with, but what I mean to say is, is uh, like tomorrow, I'm not in a big hurry to go out on the lake or do anything like that. I might go for a short little ride because I haven't ridden the ATV in these gas, so. In 400 meters, turn left onto County Road 124, Simcoe County Road 124. Okay. Different. Um, I'll see if there's enough gas in the ATV just to drive to the, the S, there's an SO station, the ones I'm mad at about the propane. I can ride the ATV there. At the light, turn there. left onto County Road 124, Simcoe County Road 124. Signs for County Road 124 South. Gas station is closed. Continue on County Road 124 for 10 kilometers. Um, this is all freshly repaved. That's nice. Um, yeah, the roads, since we left my area, my area, the roads are terrible. Even the paved ones. But, um, but from there on, boy, it's been pretty nice. Wow, look at the collection of the old cars. And they're all for sale. Some kind of mansion-y looking place. Yeah, I think it's like, so tomorrow, I'll go get the ATV gassed up and it's done. Uh, I'll have to come back into, into town or into town there and get gas. Um, for the boat. I gotta work on the fishing rods tomorrow. We'll see what the weather brings too, eh? But I'm not gonna be in a hurry to go launch the boat. I wanna get everything ready first, proper. I can enjoy that sitting, uh, you know, I'll get firewood, uh, not tonight, but tomorrow, Tuesday, as I was saying. get wood from that guy uh, down uh, near Hepworth he sells it by the face cord there so assuming of course my deposit comes in overnight that could all be delayed a day I don't think so though 13th is the right day It says 22 Celsius on the truck, but it doesn't feel 22 Celsius with my arm up the window. Even when we were stopped there, it felt quite a bit cooler than that. I think the humidity is way down is what it is. It must be all up in them clouds getting ready to rain on us. Okay, anyway, I'll stop you guys for now. There's your kind of the mid update.